Hey guys, I'm at Dr. Kodas' office. Hi everybody, good morning. I, and that's Elaine back there. Hello. So I am having my surgery this coming Tuesday. Um, yes, this coming Tuesday. So the last time I was here with doctor when I had my surgery in April, I had the tummy tuck as you guys can see. I still have the scar here because I, being Asian. Asian, you hyperpigment. Yes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little device called a Fraxel Repair, uh -huh. which is actually gonna lighten up the scar and okay. actually make it less hypertrophic. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna also do the face. We're gonna concentrate around the peri areolar or area there, which is a little hyperpigmented. We're gonna concentrate on a little scarring that she has here. And what this Fraxel Repair does, it's a basically a laser that refines the skin. It actually helps with fine lines and wrinkles. And it also helps with a little of the pigmentation changes. We're also then gonna do a little lipo that I see right in through here, where a lot of women have around the bra line here. Also in the superior edge here, and we're gonna get the axilla here. We're gonna target this area in through here so we can give her that nice and complete that hourglass look. So the last time we had, we did lipo, we did uh, lipo just down here. Just the anterior flanks, just yes. these little, little areas like yeah. if you put your hands in your pockets, mm -hmm. these areas here. So that here area has already flattened because if and when you we're pinch it, here. yeah, when you pinch it, there's no fat, but air, this time we're gonna target here. So as you can see, when I pinch it, you can see the fat. Right, and that's how you know, when mm -hmm. you look at, there's not a lot of fat I can pinch mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. but here, there's just a little bit more on the external side. And that's how you know if you need lipo. If you mm -hmm. can pinch, what you can pinch is what I can get to. Mm -hmm. And that's the external fat. So yeah, so lipo here, here, and, and, the, and the upper back. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we're gonna be doing the Fraxo on my face. And also, so Fraxel is, uh, are you, is it the Fraxel Restore? Repair. Repair. There's okay. three types of okay. Fraxels that mm -hmm. people need to understand. Mm -hmm. There's the Refine, there's the Restore, and there's the Repair. Which one's the strongest? The Repair. Repair. And okay. I like using that because it's fractionated, mm -hmm. so it targets that certain area, mm -hmm. but it's almost as effective, as effective as a CO2 laser, so mm -hmm. it really targets the areas nicely. Okay. And it builds collagen, so that again, it helps with the reparative aspect of the scar. It helps repair hair scars mm -hmm. and it also helps refine and, and, and make the skin look nice and refreshed. So a lot of people has asked me about the scar right here. So I want to adjust that one one more time. So I being Asian, usually Asians, right? Asians and Hispanics tend to have a darker scar yes. because of the color of their skin. So mm -hmm. if you see, there's two different colors of skin if you right. look at both. Mm -hmm. Yours is a little darker than mm -hmm. my skin here. So again, scarring will be a little bit more prevalent on a little bit of a darker skin, but yeah. it will tend to fade. And you can see on the outside here, it, it, it will fade eventually, but it takes a little longer time. Yeah. In Asians and in Hispanics. Yeah. So um, even when I had my C-section, I scarred just like this. Um, and uh, so yeah, you know, we're hoping to, you know, lighten this area and this area with the Fraxo. And uh, yeah, this will be on Tuesday, guys. Nice seeing everybody. See you yeah. at surgery.